fantastic. Time. Coffee is not about me. It's not about you, and it's not about them. It's about us and the way that we can connect and build meaningful relationships that focus on achievable goals, like progress year over year. And that's what we're gonna focus on today, is a relationship that for me has really helped me wear the shoes I'm in right now and become the coffee professional I am today, really progressing me as an individual. I'm gonna serve you three coffees. They're all from the same farm. They're all the same processing technique. They're all actually the same varietal. But they're gonna showcase three consecutive years of progress on all aspects of this relationship. We're gonna start with the milk beverage. And this is gonna be a coffee from 2018. This is something I refer to as a vintage coffee. And I'll explain what that means when we get there. Then we're gonna to move to the espresso course. This is a coffee from 2019. It's a fresh crop. It's vibrant and expressive. And then finally, we're gonna to go to the signature beverage. And this is a coffee that's from 2020. It's from the future. We're gonna progress this coffee together. Now I'm gonna ask that as we go through this today, don't worry too much about taking notes. We're gonna have lots of information that will come out with each course I present to you. And there's some cards just beside Miguel's water glass that you can take backstage with you with all the information on it. So my relationship to this coffee starts in 2016. I'm sitting in a really similar role to the one you're in right now. Just a client in a coffee shop engaged with a passionate and friendly barista. This coffee shop was in Bogota, Colombia, and my barista's name was Freddie. And we engaged in the fact that I work in the specialty coffee industry. Because of this, Freddie wanted to serve me something unique. And he chose a variety of coffee that I had never actually heard of before. It's called Cedra. And he explained it to me as a cross of red bourbon and tipica. And the brew he made for me that day had such wonderful mouthfeel and texture. It's a really memorable coffee in my professional career. Then, as I was enjoying that, another gentleman came into the coffee shop, and his name is Sebastian. Sebastian just so happens to be an integral member of the farm that produced the Cedra and got it into Freddy's hands. So all of a sudden, through a small, open-minded interaction, I'd become connected and engaged with coffee professionals that are very passionate, a forward-thinking and progressive coffee farm, and a variety that prior to that day, I had never heard of. So fast forward a year, and I got to return to Colombia. And I spent some time with Sebastian. I got to visit the farm. It's called La Palma El Tucan. And there I got to see the way they're producing their coffee. They're doing long anaerobic fermentations that are happening with perfectly ripe cherries, allowing the lactic acid bacteria that lies dormant in those coffee cherries to thrive and concentrate, bringing a whole new quality to the acidity that's present in the cup. They're heavily rooted in the values of constant improvement, something that both personally and professionally I align with, so a relationship I'd really like to build upon as the years go by. In that first year I visited, I got to cup four different cedars. They were all processed as washed coffees, and they were wonderful. Their flavor qualities were beautiful. But to me, they were missing the mouthfeel and texture that I had experienced through that brew in 2016 when Freddie first introduced me to Cedra. And because of this, I expressed to Sebastian and Felipe, maybe we can make progress. And in 2018, they produced for me a natural Cedra, and that's the coffee I'm gonna serve for you in this first course. It was produced in April of 2018, and it's specifically lot number 129. It's off 57 hours in that anaerobic fermentation state, and this brought forward a crisp green grape acidity in the coffee that when paired with three parts of milk, it's gonna bring a stewed apricot quality into your milk beverage. I received this coffee in June of 2018, and in November I had six kilograms left. And myself and my team at Rosso Coffee Roasters decided on a little experiment that we figured would help progress us as coffee professionals. What we did was roasted all six kilos on a drum roaster powered by gas to intensify the sweetness of this cedra. And then we froze it all in 100 gram vacuum sealed bags with the goal of creating a coffee vintage. Something that year over year we could come back to, to learn from, to see how cedra has progressed and how we've progressed also. Building upon this relationship as we go into the future. It very much so changes the platform of this service, allowing me to connect and engage with my clients on the concept of vintage. It's really easy because of the establishment of the world of wine. So bringing seasonality forward 
I believe is really important in the world of coffee, and because of this concept, I'm able to do this. So judges, in your milk beverage, please look for that stewed apricot, really lovely Nutella, and dark chocolate, melted ice cream quality, and a sweet vanilla wafer. As I put the boards in front of you, there's all the information you need that I've told you thus far, as well as all of the flavor notes, and a water glass on your right hand side. There, enjoy. And enjoy. Now this exact lot is actually a really emotional coffee for me, and it's not often I describe coffee that way. I had the opportunity last year to stand on this stage with lot 129 and showcase it's amazing flavor integrity and nuance. And through this concept of vintage, I have full confidence in coming back, showcasing my trust in this relationship and a whole year of progress, personally and professionally. And I've freeze distilled my milk today in order to concentrate the sugars, bringing forward what becomes a melted chocolate ice cream quality progressing from that dark chocolate in a regular dairy. So all of the ingredients in this milk beverage have been frozen for flavor exploration. There you are, enjoy that. Can't wait to showcase a full year of progress. Just for your reference, I'm pulling one shot of the past and one shot of the present day Cedra for my signature beverage today on my right group. Now, as the past falls behind us, I think it's really important for us to realign our vision and our values as we progress into the future with the people we plan to move forward with. I had the opportunity to do this just two months ago. I revisited La Palma El Toucan and I got to see my friends Sebastian and Felipe. And there as we walked the coffee fields, I noticed a progressive shift that they've done on the farm. And when I inquired with Felipe what the goal was with this reasoning behind removing every second row of coffee plants on the farm, he described to me that he's looking to move forward the traditional style of coffee production within Colombia. And removing every second row allows the trees to dig deeper roots, connecting a more meaningful relationship to the earth, pulling in more nutrients, and ultimately creating more sugars in the cherries. And we know that those extra sugars in the cherries turn into progression in the case of fermentation. So this coffee that I'll serve to you as the espresso course has seen progress in that portion. It was produced in January of 2019, specifically lot 255 and it saw 82 hours in that anaerobic fermentation state transforming that crisp green grape acidity into more of a cool climate chardonnay so please note cool climate chardonnay is your first note for the espresso course followed by a juicy nectarine blood orange dark chocolate that will progress to a cocoa nib finish. The, as I place the present day cedar in front of you, please just evaluate the crema for now. We're going to wait a moment to allow the coffee to cool, to allow the complex and nuanced flavors to really come into clarity, creating space, just like the trees in the park. There you go. And there you go. We're also going to take a moment here to align our vision and our values as we progress into the future. So this cup in the middle here is gonna represent what 2020 might hold for Cedra. And if you don't mind sliding to the signature drink portion of our score sheets, I'm gonna put a few ingredients together. We're gonna to start with lot 129, the vintage Cedra you experienced in your milk cup. Sweets and syrup. It's gonna be the baseline of what we can progress forward with. Then a full extraction of the coffee in front of you like right now, lot 255, fresh and vibrant. Now these two represent the past and the present, and today we're gonna push them into the future with what we know. 
I'm going to add one ingredient at this portion that to me represents varietal and terroir. Cedra from La Palma y El Tucan. And that is, I've progressed forward these grapes by oven roasting them for five hours at 125 degrees Fahrenheit in order to minimize the acidity, bringing out more sweetness and more texture. Then I used a tool called the muli to remove the skins, avoiding any astringency or bitterness and creating this puree. And here I have 35 grams of this cooked green grape puree that I'll add into our future cedra. And I'll explain what that does when we get to the future. Now let's go back to the coffee in front of you right now. We've changed our approach to roasting. We use the fluid bed roaster that thrives on energy and airflow to bring a consistency to the roast profile and really highlight that amazing acidity. It works similar to the way this magnetic mixer here is gonna bring a consistency into our future cedra. It will, I promise you it will. There we are. And then I used the recipe today of 22 grams in the basket, a 22 second extraction and 55 grams in the cup to bring a medium weight, you're welcome to write this down, a smooth and buttery texture that will progress into velvet and that long cocoa nib finish. Judges, please stir five times with the spoons on your left hand side. You can drop them into the great pink tubblers there and enjoy lot 255. Full year of progress. personally and professionally, that comes from other like-minded industries, finding influence that I can bring back to forward coffee. Like vintage in the world of wine, vintage is also present in tea, and I'm gonna demonstrate that with this tea service. Here in this traditional Gaiwan, I have a ripe Pu'er tea that's been aged 13 years in order to land on the flavor compounds that it represents. It's grown in a small tea garden in the Wu Liang Shan mountain range of China in Yunnan province. I've used three grams of this tea and I've progressed through its flavors three times with 25 grams per flush to land on qualities in here that represent ripe fruit complexities and an earthy undertone. What they're gonna do is progress forward that stone fruit quality you found in the past and present to be a more juicy nectarine and the chocolate note that you found, same thing in the past and the present to bring forward a really pleasant, long, tannic cocoa nib finish. Then, go to another like-minded industry for inspiration, and that's the world of cocktails. I'm going to progress the texture and weight of this cedra, bringing me back to memories of 2016 when I first tasted this amazing coffee varietal with Freddie. So I'm gonna do just a soft shake over a two-inch ice sphere in order to harmonize all the flavors here. And this soft shake is gonna highlight a malic acidity that's created from those cooked green grapes. And it's gonna bring a refreshing tactile sensation into this beverage. I'm double straining in order to remove any particulates that might have come through from the tea and to ensure a smooth drinking experience. And the flavor notes that I'd like you to note for this beverage are, are going to bring you memories of the past and present. Juicy nectarine, yellow apple created from those cooked green grapes, dried mango, dark chocolate, and that long, pleasant, tannic cocoa nib finish. Now, as I put the future in your hands, I'd like to go back to something I stated in the past. Coffee is about you, and it is about me, and it is about them and the way that we can connect, inspire one another, build meaningful relationships that focus on achievable goals like progress and year over year 
elevate one another, just like those blocks in front of you. I just thank you so much for inspiring me to be here today, to stand in these shoes. I had a wonderful time.